What's up guys, Daniel the Growth here, uh, back with another video about training Jiu Jitsu in Brazil. So in last week's video we discussed why you should train Jiu Jitsu in Brazil, uh, check it out here if you haven't already. And in this, uh, this video we'll discuss where you should go in Brazil. So I released an ebook about this topic, we'll discuss uh, 8 different cities you can go to. And in the coming videos I want to discuss the cities I've uh, spent most of my time in, which are Rio, Santos and Sao Paulo. In today's video we'll start with Rio, it's probably the city people most think about when they think about training jiu-jitsu in Brazil is the birthplace of, of jiu-jitsu so that's the one we're going to start with. I'm going to talk about the best gyms in the city, the climate, the safety, the tourist hotspots uh, and the overall positive and negative points about the city so uh, you can decide for yourself which city is the best one for you. So this week we'll do Rio, next week we'll go into Santos and the week after that uh, we'll get into Sao Paulo. So there's a lot of gyms in Rio uh, which is the best one for you it will depend a little bit on your own uh, personal taste and of course maybe you got an association uh, you're already a member of and you can join the team there myself i've trained at three different places fight zone Felipe costa's gym and cantagala jiu-jitsu and i'll just discuss those fight zone is where i spend most of my time uh hiko Vieira used to teach the classes there he just moved to lisbon unfortunately so uh he's he's teaching there now but uh, there's still a lot of his top guys uh, teaching there and it's a gym where a lot of world champions come from uh, the accommodations are good, there's a, a, a locker room with a shower, it's cold but there's a lot of water and it's actually quite refreshing after a, a hot training there. Uh, Jiu Jitsu is really competitive, high level, so uh, it's definitely recommended, I, I had a good time there. The other gym I went to is uh, Cantagala Jiu Jitsu, it's right up the, the hill between uh, Copacabana and Ipanema. A lot of the, the famous guys from, from Rio are from there, Jackson Souza, Alan Finfu, uh, Sandro Vieira. Uh, Douglas Ufino, a lot of the top guys uh, train in, uh, out of there. Um, there's a lot of sparring, pretty high, high intensity. Accommodations are not so luxurious and the classes usually start a little bit late. But it's, it's really great training and super nice guys as well. The third gym I've been to was uh, Felipe Costa's gym. Every Tuesday and Thursday he has a, a featherweight training for everybody under 70 kilos. And the times I've been there I had a really good time. Felipe speaks uh, fluent English, uh, he's a really good coach, super friendly guy. Uh, so if you if you wanna if you're a little bit scared of not being able to speak Portuguese, that's definitely a good spot uh, because he is very fluent in English and is a great great instructor as well. Very open to uh, to gringos. There's a lot of other gyms as well. You can go to Dela Rivas. You can go to Gordos. Uh, I'll discuss those a little bit in my uh, my ebook uh, because I have some friends that have been there and they share their experiences. But uh, in the video, I just want to focus on my own experiences. So uh, those three are definitely recommended if you go to Rio. So in Rio there's great weather year-round. Uh, the summers can get very hot. I remember when I was there in December I went from 37 degrees in Rio to minus 5 in Paris and it was uh, pretty tough. I had a <laughs> tough time on the Eiffel Tower. Uh, in general the climate is really, really, really warm. Uh, not so much rain. There are some rainy days but mostly sunshine and uh, it's a little bit warmer than Sao Paulo and uh, significantly less rain. So if you like the hot weather, Rio is your place. So Rio is a, a little bit dangerous, a, one of the more dangerous places in Brazil. Uh, petty crime and robberies are more common than they are in other places. Uh, so it's important that you, you stay aware. Uh, the problem with Rio is that the bad neighborhoods are around the corner of the good neighborhood. So if you take two or three wrong turns, you can just end up in a, in a bad neighborhood. So that's, that's one of the dangers of Rio. But if you're just aware, you make sure you stay uh, in the safe areas and when you go to uh, like the favelas, make sure you go with people from there, you should be perfectly fine. I, I spent a lot of time there, I never got robbed, never got pickpocketed, never got my ass kicked. Um, so if you're aware, you should be perfectly fine. Just uh, don't be stupid, don't walk around with your phone in your, in your hand in a, at night, that kind of stuff. Be smart and you should be safe. Okay, so like I said in the last video, most of the famous sites in, in Brazil can be found in Rio. So you have the Christ the Redeemer there, the Sugarloaf Mountain. Those are really cool to visit. But one of the problems in Rio is that there's um, a lot of smog. So if you go there, make sure you go on a clear day. That way you can make most uh, of your day. So you can have a really beautiful view around the city. So if, you, if you're in Rio, you see there's a beautiful clear day. Just cancel your training, take a rest day. It's worth it, trust me. For food and uh, that kind of stuff, I can definitely recommend Takaka do Norte, an acai place. And they also have this weird soup from the Amazon with some uh, uh, mouth-numbing leaves. It's really cool. Uh, but the acai there is uh, probably one of the best ones I've had. It's a uh, more traditional acai, not as sweet, not as ice cream-like. It's really cool to, to make a, a small Dietrich to Flamengo and try that acai out. 
Uh, there's also a really cool restaurant named Titi Burgers, uh, where I've had my best hamburger ever. And they have ketchup with guave in it. It's really special, really good. Uh, it's right between Ipanema and Copacabana, so pretty central. All right, so to sum up the positive parts uh, about Rio, first of all, it's the birthplace of jiu-jitsu. Second of all, there's really good training. Third of all, there's beautiful nature. And fourth, all the famous tourist sites are there. So if you have a really short trip and you want to get to know the country, Rio is your place to go. Okay, so now for the negative part. Uh, Rio is relatively unsafe. The second one is that the level of jiu-jitsu is slightly lower than Sao Paulo. Most of the high-level competitions are there. South American championships, Brazilian championships. So if your only focus is jiu-jitsu, it, it would be smarter for you to go to Sao Paulo instead of Rio. But it doesn't take away anything about the level of jiu-jitsu in, in Rio, which is still really high. And you'll probably get your ass kicked, whatever your belt or your weight class is. All right, so if you like great weather good training, beautiful views, and you're a bit of an adventurous person, Rio is definitely the place for you. Make sure to download my ebook if you haven't already. I'll give you a few more tips about Rio and also go into eight other cities that could be a nice option for you. So make sure you get it. It's in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to like, uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions about Rio as well, just leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to the channel because we'll be dropping a lot more content about uh, training in Brazil uh, so you guys can plan the perfect trip for yourself. See you guys next time.